It is dark in here because now I am waiting to go into my scan and so what happened was I came in I got injected with the glucose that is what will show up on the scan so it, it shows where my body metabolizes the radioactive glucose that they injected in me right here I have to sit and wait for it you know to absorb into my body and then I'll go in the scan and then they'll be able to see where it's at if it's there Hopefully it's a very dark scan. That's what we're hoping for. I have this little pin on my thing that says stay positive and have an awesome day. So that's what I'm trying to do today. I'm not really experiencing much skin anxiety uh, this time around, which is cool. I'm just kind of happy that I'm getting this so that I know for sure whether or not I'm really cancer free. It's a nice way to be 100% sure. Probably have like an hour left, maybe 45 minutes to an hour left. I'm really hungry because I haven't been allowed to eat since yesterday and right now it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm excited to go get lunch after this we're gonna go get ramen and I also had an ultrasound this morning to check the enlarged lymph nodes in my thyroid that I spoke about in my last vlog now I just peed I flushed out all this stuff and now I go into the scan Whee! I can eat pet scan is done so we're eating saltine crackers waiting to go do labs and then we're gonna go get ramen it's so bright and hot. I did ultrasound, PET scan, and labs. What's that right there? What is that? Who is that? Off to get my cancer ribbon tattoo. It's like a coming of age or like a passing. Can we talk about how foggy the camera just got? Welcome to Florida. Adam is actually at the gym and he's gonna meet me at the tattoo shop. We're Ubering everywhere because nobody has cars for us to use. That's my mom's car, but my brother has the keys to her car and apparently the car's overheating. All right, I think my Uber's here. See you at the tattoo shop. It's a bloody cancer ribbon. What'd you do to me? Say hi. It was too hectic to film the kitchen and I forgot to vlog and none of us vlogged. But I'm baking coffee, honey cake in a mug. Here are my tattoos. She's sleepwalking right now. I, I might not remember it. this tomorrow you morning because I was sleeping. <laughs> you sleep, sleep. Got my right tats, now. got my cake in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my mom's birthday at midnight and Adam and I snuck out to get her present. And we didn't even tell her what we got her yet. And she's in the kitchen like cracking up, like literally about to, kneeling over. I'm about to pee her <laughs> And we are ironically got her like deep pens <laughs> for adults as a joke, but she might actually need them. Not that there's anything <laughs> wrong with that if an adult needs those. Wait, I'll be back. So, these are what make my checkups worth it. <laughs> make sure your poops are small. And these. We surprised her with like little eclair shots and sparklers, but I didn't film it. But were you surprised? So surprised. It was so cute. And makes me so happy. And we walked in playing birthday sex That's and right. dancing. So you can catch on my MySpace, the real A damn. Tell me when we I caught it all. Uh -oh. No. And I also have the song playing when you go onto my page. It's the next day, and we're at Deerfield. Whee! And today we are meeting with my endocrinologist, which is my doctor for my thyroid. And then we get to see Hoppy! Yay. Let's go. Hello. We're at Sylvester, but the one in Miami now. Yeah. Last time we told we were in Deerfield. Snap a finger, we're in Miami. Waiting to see Hoppy. And then I'll update you guys on everything that I talked about with my endocrinologist and then Hoppy, who is my hematologist. And I brought him homemade cake in a jar. He looks like uh, Ray Romano. He does. Let us know in the comments when you see him if you think he looks like Ray Romano. And he sounds like Ray Romano. He does. Marisol! Hey. That's not light up there? No. 
No, oh, this is this is this is normal tonsils and okay. glands. Anything that that's very symmetric tends to be benign. And there's more sugar uptake there now because there's less sugar being taken up by the bad stuff. Those lymph nodes have no uptake whatsoever. Nothing. Those are the kidneys, which always take up some contrast because you're going to pee it out. You had quite a bit of it before, and now you have none of it. Good work. Could have done it without you. <laughs> Could have done it without you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old you, and that's the new you. Many normal. <laughs> you know, I'm going to see if we can add on the iron profile from today just to prove that it's low. If I said you were pleasant. Yep, pleasant. See? Mm, yeah. That's not that it's just part of my template that it says for everybody, but... Pleasant. That was when I first saw you. PET scan, bone marrow, catheter, PFTs. That was right in there. For current raw there. foods diet. I was for a second. She openly discussed being anxious at times, which was validated as normal. She all gets down on her. Logistics with her life in LA, we're looking to find the tallest close to our residence in LA, and she would consider where to get some or all of her therapy. <laughs> So there. You won me over. In conclusion, I'm still cancer free. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ring the alarm. Can I hear a sound of applause? Yeah. That's my sound of applause. Yay. Yay. 22 months remission. Two, two. Hey, we're getting married on the 22nd. Hoffy thinks that I may be iron deficient. It doesn't show that I'm anemic, but he thinks that it could be iron deficiency. So he called for more tests to be done on my blood. So I'm just gonna start taking my iron medicine again and see, and we'll see where my thyroid levels are at tomorrow. And that's pretty much what could be causing my fatigue. Remember when I used to say fatigue? Yeah. I don't say it anymore now like you that. Don't. Thanks to my teacher. Check out this side by side of me when I had cancer and now me now. It's amazing. And I have hair. Due to the good news, we are cheersing. I have a margarita. Mm -hmm. We've got a Celsius. Mm -hmm. I used to come to, when I was admitted here, my mom would order me food from here and bring it. And then also Jimmy John's from 7 Eleven. She got me a lollipop. Fun facts. Hey, Thank Sylvester. You. Thanks for all that you do. This is Sylvester. So this is named after this. It's the uh... Sylvester. It's the next day and I just wanted to end my checkup video with gratitude for everybody who sent me good vibes and a no glow scan uh, wishes. Thanks for following along. Thanks for sticking around and hanging out for all my checkups. I really, really appreciate it. And always remember, everything's gonna be okay. Take back my life.